everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Holly and this is a, this is a new video. Anyway, today I want to talk about bats because they are a thing that exists, I'm learning. So as you may or may not know, months ago, back in April, Josh and I moved in together. We live in the bottom half of an older house. Anyway, um, a couple weeks in, Josh came home from work one night really late because he worked nights, so he got home at like 4.30. And there was a bat. I didn't know this, I was sleeping, but I woke up because I could hear him moving around the house really weird with work boots on and so it was like a gradual wake up of what is he doing. Anyway, I got up and together we, we managed to get rid of this bat. I mean, a broom was broken in the process. Yeah, it was a good time. So since then we hadn't had any bats for a really long time, like months had passed, no bats. Until about two weeks ago. And I guess August is like bat mating season. So suddenly we got bats five in two weeks. I was working from home one day and I heard noises there was a bat in the heat duct. I thought it was a bird. It wasn't a bird. And then the next bat, I think the next one was when Josh came home and he, he took a shower and up in the corner of the shower, which he did not realize the whole time, was a bat. So essentially he showered with the bat. The next night we, we go to bed and uh, I wake up because I, I thought maybe I left the stove on. So it went in the dark because the stove has knobs and they glow so you know whether the stove's on. So I go over, it's like pitch black and I'm like looking at the stove, I'm like, nothing. Good, I was about to go back to bed when I heard a noise. And I was like, okay, maybe there's a window there in our garbage can. So I thought, maybe it's the curtain, maybe the curtain. And I was like, no, I better turn the light on. We've had bats. As soon as I turn the light on, this freaking bat comes flying from behind the refrigerator. I physically went, ah! And then Josh is like, what? And I go back to the bedroom knowing he does not like bats at all. So I, I'm like, I'll be right back. And I close the door and I, and I got that bat out of the house. So the next bat, Saturday night, yeah, Saturday night, Josh and I we popped in The Exorcist. Yes, because that's a great movie to watch. So he fell asleep about 20 minutes and he fell asleep on the couch. So I left him on the couch because I was like, he is the hardest person to wake up. So I went to bed and I closed the door knowing we have had bats. So I wake up at 4.30, not sure why I woke up. I know I had to pee. So I got up and went pee, and I went back to bed, and I closed the door again. Maybe you can see where this is going. So I lay back down, and I start to doze off. And I just get to that, that point where you're about to fall asleep, when suddenly I feel air move across my face, and noise that wasn't there before. And I don't know how close this bat got to my face. It's dark, by the way. It's pitch black in my bedroom, and there's something flying in there, and it came very close to my face. I didn't really know what to do. I'm in a room, walked in a room with a bat. So what I did was I put the covers over my head so I could like come up with a game plan of how I was going to get out of the room, go wake Josh up, because I know Josh wouldn't want to find out the next day that I let him sleep through a, a bat scapade. So what I did was I rolled onto the floor, it stayed really low, and I opened the bedroom door and I went out and got Josh. So that was that bat. Not last night, but the night before. I was sitting there, I got, I started watching Fringe. I don't know if you've watched Fringe, it's quite good. Uh, anyway, I'm sitting there watching Fringe. And now I'm all paranoid at this point. Anything that moves or makes a sound is a bat until proven otherwise. And of course, at the corner of my eye, that little sucker flew in front of the house. He flew back, flew in front, and then flew back. And then I lost him. He went in the basement. Totally lost him in the basement because like half of the basement's finished, the other half isn't, and it's all like open, and he can fly up into anything. So we're pretty sure the bats are coming from the base of the chimney somewhere. Even though there's no visible holes, they can come in through the smallest holes, like the smallest. So I chased that thing around. And that leads me to this part of the video. Tips for getting bats out of your house. I've gotten really good at it. I have information I need to share. So let's go into it. Tip number one, don't panic. If you panic, it's just it's no good. There's no point. Bats aren't going to like dive bomb and suck your blood. They're not gonna do that. That's not, they're, they're just as freaked out as you are. They're like, I don't know where I am. And you're like, why are you here? And then it's a big kerfuffle. Uh, tip number two, try to stay low because depending on where you are, like in this room, ceilings are really low. So when they fly, they're just about at head level. So, you know, stay low because you don't want them to like bash into your face. Tip number three, there's a couple ways you can get them out. The way that has worked best for me is opening all the doors in the house that lead outside and closing the rest so he doesn't have a lot of places to go. And what you do is bats like the dark. So they're gonna go anywhere that it's dark. You, you turn on all the lights in the rooms you don't want him and you leave a path of darkness out of the house. This typically works, um, he'll go. Now, an issue I ran into is sometimes they like to land high up on things. I don't know what this is with my hand. Sometimes they'll land and you're, you're like, I gotta, how do I get him to, to move around? And I thought maybe I'll hit him with a broom. Broom's not that great, because if you hit him, and he's not ready for it, he'll fall on you or something. And that idea I didn't like. Uh, I threw a sock once. That didn't go over very well either. What I found is most effective is a squirt bottle. Using a little, like a water 
squirt bottle or like a little squirt gun and don't just spray him directly just spray pretty close if he gets splashed he's like i don't like that and he will fly and he will fly for a while if you're having problems trying to get them out you can always do what i did the first time which was i threw a towel over him and he got trapped under the towel and then i used uh, oven mitts i picked up the towel which was good i think i had oven mitts because his head popped out and he tried to bite me i recommend the doorway if you can if you can get them out the door so yeah uh that's how you basically the best way to get a bat out and don't friggin panic can't stress that enough. People freak out. Doesn't do anyone any good. We need bats, so so respect your bats, even though they're slightly terrifying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I like to make videos all the time. So take care and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.